Good evening, Jellyfolk, and welcome back to Screaming the Jolly, and to the Cat Lady. Yes, you're probably not that surprised, I hardly kept silent about it. But here we are, we're about to embark on a new journey full of horror, horror, viscera, and tragedy, and all other lovely things that make life worth living. <laughs> yes, this is the second game by Michalski, Remielski, uh, probably mispronouncing the name, I'll mention it in the link, so you can look him up if you're interested in his work. He's making a third game, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which will be the uh, end of a trilogy, if I'm not mistaken. He might decide to make more, I don't know, I'm not him. Anyway, let's begin! My name is Susan Ashworth. Susan! She's back! I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly. But they will understand. Like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course, prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them, all I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. A cheerful start. Now, the fact that Susan was alive in this intro, well, briefly, <laughs> uh, implies that either the last scene from the previous game, um, which was my previous let's play, if you're new, hello, welcome, uh, either is non-canonical, uh, because in that, Sus uh, Susan died, probably, which would mean that either it's non-canonical, or... It happens after the events in this game. Alright. Walkie walkie. She looks a lot older in this game, to be fair. But this is technically an older game, since... Well, the last game was actually a re uh, Michael's remake of his, his first game ever. So this one will be a, a bit more dated. But still well, still very well made, I'd say. Her hair shifts in the wind. I approve of it. And it's in color! Other than, you know, viscera red. So this is the, off so this is the afterlife, is it? Alright, up to open the interaction menu. And then to confirm. Seems the same as last game. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Yeah, didn't work. Oh, my colors! They took my colors. And... Wow. Really horribly parked some, parked some automobiles. It's a mess! Pedestrian access. 
meant to be a car tunnel. And well, that's a stable car. Ah, that's, that's his name. Michalski. Michalski. Pretty sure I got it right. Yes, 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 we know this. And I can't pass it. Alright. Hmm? Can't go any further. This ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel left. Maybe there's no exit at all. So, car tunnel. Yep. Let's see what's inside. It's locked. Everything's locked. Alright. Let's try left. making that noise. Hello? Who's there? Answer me! <laughs> oh god, that's me! Shit in hell! It's me. My cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What's it doing here? Ah, she looks a lot younger there, to be fair. I look so calm. <laughs> she just has an unfortunate profile. My eyes. Just about the one thing I liked about myself. Even now, they still give a little shine. Is that a kin in her mouth? In my mouth? I'd better take it with me. With some luck, we can now enter the uh, thingajiggy door. And as usual, I can't remember simple world words. Oh! I see this world too, sir. Lovely, friendly place. Characters in Michelle's world, worlds just can't get a break, can they? Right, let's get this. Ah, back to color. Hello, dear. Hello. You're a lovely creature. Probably nothing terrible is going to happen, Claude, dear. Surely not. See if I can learn the uh, keys properly to begin with, so I won't have to ten episodes in still go. Hey, how do you, how do I do this? How do I how do I use thing? All right, charming, charming. The hole has been boarded up with these planks. The sign underneath says emergency power switch. Danger. There's definitely something there. Can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Um, right, let's... Let's board it up. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of a heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery, after all. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do I turn it on? Well, I think I know. Rapidly increasing heartbeats. That's very creepy. I'm not strong enough to pull them off with my bare hands. Alright. Let's find a thingy jiggy. Crowbar. Or something similar. There's probably a load of things you could theoretically use to pry it open. And I just need one. Now let's see what horror has befallen the deer, because nothing can remain happy, can it? Imagine a sacrifice. Maybe the deer will suffice. This is very pretty. Graphics are simple, but they've used them well. I, I appreciate that. I much prefer that to uh, making something very something drearily boring with that. 
car burning. Yep, that car is burning. What's all the crashed automobiles around here? And that, if I'm not mistaken, is me! Again! Oh dear. My dead body, hanging from a tree. I shouldn't be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny, shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? Susan, you have issues. I'm sorry. The rope is tied into a knot. You made me hours find that it's not. Alright, let's find something sharp. So, we need something sharp and something pryy. Can I search the... That's too high. What a shame. Alright, let's see what man is I can't on. remember this place. Am I lost? You did kill yourself, so this is a lovely afterlife. I'm too glad you were a good girl. Is that Raven? I think it's a Raven. Might have been a Blackbird. I should know my Corvids. I'm very fond of them. Oh, this is disgusting. What a gruesome display. I agree. At least it's not my head stuck in the boss. Yet. Really? What a bizarrely surreal aspect of these game Mich Michael makes. The fact that it feels like I'm walking through a maze while stuck in a 2D plane. Will you stop, bird? Seriously, I'm a patient man, but uh, you're making a mockery. Hey, can I? No. Still bolted. Still can't tie that down. Still can't imagine. In Still can't untie that. Yes. There's something about that crow, surely. Do help me out. Well, it's definitely not a crow. Got a yellow beak. But now it went that way. Okay, maybe it was a red herring. Crow, seriously. Don't be a bot. Is this game going to be more puzzly than the last one? That could make for a rather slow walk. Oh well. Definitely something about a crow. But what? Do I own anything? I own nothing. Now if I bother it here, it will fly back. Why is the game lagging? Honestly! Hey! By moving the crow, I ended up in a different place. Interesting. Strange, but... Oh, whatever works. That takes me back here. This place, I assume, is still blocked. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah. No sharp bits of glass or... Convenient iron, iron bars. What a shame. All right, we'll fiddle around with the crow some more then. Well, 
Worst case scenario, I'll make it. I'll do like I usually do and make a cut until I figure out what on earth I'm doing. Can't expect you to put up with this drudgery, can I? It's not fair, frankly. Plus, it's bloody inconvenient to make small talk while nothing is happening. But we'll give, we'll give the, the old crow uh, one more try. Not a crow. Why do I keep calling it a crow? It's called a blackbird. are not my expertise. Bloody iron, bloody bars. Alright, enough for this. Uh, I'll, just, I'll assume in a moment once I've found some, some new place or anything of interest at all. I'll see you in a bit. And here we are! I followed the blackbird. And end up in this cherry place. Let's see if there's anything interesting here we can use. Yes, thank you for helping me out, eh? We got a knife! Which means we can cut my we can cut me down. Who's done this? Is anyone else here? That is horrid. Unbolt. Indeed. We are getting somewhere. Oh, bloody hell. Cut it out. It's a hunter's knife. It is still a hunter's knife. Check me out. Again. Here I look like I'm just sleeping. Nothing in pockets. Take the key. Leave. Oh yeah, I wanted the iron gate. Iron gates now. The one with the horrible animal heads. So that would be lovely. Sounds like a fun place. It looks like fun. And here we are. Come on, lucky seven. I even says gate key. Explodes open with fury. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. Lorelei! I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? Interesting. Last time we met, the in the last list, in the last... Uh, let's play. I she asked this question as well, and the last time I answered that bitch that Ivy told me about. Uh, let's not do that again. I think he took offense. Death, old lady, god, or the devil? Now she's neither of those. She's definitely not that. She's far too creepy. She might be death. Is there anything? Or I don't know, but that's no fun! Death? Interesting. Yes, perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, 
but I never give anything back. I am doom, but I'm salvation too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. So I was wrong. You're not deaf? No, I am not. Perhaps I am life. But then again, does it really matter? Interesting. One thing I'm looking forward to in playing more of these games is finding out what on earth she is. She did apparently uh, an important part in the last game, even though she just she only showed up once or twice. Hmm. But yeah, let's get on with this. What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom, and this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. What if that's a house we were in in the last game when we met her? It was a wooden house. It looked like it had the inside of a wooden house. What will happen next? It depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Well, the interior is different, but then again, I don't think any of this is quite real. A lonely seashore. Please don't touch anything, dear. <laughs> I wasn't going to. You was lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. I was terribly going to touch it. You really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Now we can talk properly, my dear. I still don't really know who you are. I Me? go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. I guess that's me. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. 
and you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Interesting. I think this will lead the story on, but I want to ex exhaust the dialogue with her. See if there's more I can find out. I, I enjoy the writing in this game, if you haven't noticed. Is there anyone else here? Hi. <laughs> I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? Photographs, eh? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. Charmer. I have no reason to live. Please, just let me go. I tried. I really did. But it's never going to be okay. Who knows, maybe, but one way or the other. This isn't the end of your story. It's only the beginning, my dear. And there are great things waiting for you. Believe me. Alright. What do you want me to do? Let's find out. Yes. Let's want to live. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious dog. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Can't have the penny now. Probably shouldn't have the penny. <laughs> What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special, just like you, only in a slightly different way. The last game, uh, the Queen of Maggots had Joe blow out a candle. Said it was a tradition. I wonder if Susan would have to do that. Yes, let's let's try and want to live. Let's go for optimism and not delve on her tragic past. Those five people. Who are they? The Parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth. And they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. You don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter. Serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. 
Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Interesting. The storyline is vastly different from the last game. Refreshing. Well done. Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan. I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. Hmm. What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? God, that's cheerful. It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. So, she's like a gatekeeper to the afterlife. Hmm. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. Hey. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. Well. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. Oh dear. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Yeah, I was just about Please, to say. can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. Well, that's rather. That's rather mean. It's blackmail. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. You're mean. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. Well, fun. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. Ooh, I kind of wanted to do that. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Yeah, she mentioned the dark corridors. I guess this is one of them. Damn, I should really stop recording, but we're in mid conversation. We're here. Mid conversation. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come closer. Say Ooh. hello. Mindfuck. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? Crowbar. That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. 
I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. in the cross. I was afraid it'd be the leg. I would have a nasty. I don't know why we'd have it up in the bus, but <laughs> death. Susan, it's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Hmm. All right, let's go for life, for happiness, then things. Excellent. I'm glad you have put your trust in me. I, I haven't really got anyone else. You shall not regret this. Lights up. Whoa. We're back in the house. Yes, but there is something else that must be done. The candles. You cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, my child. This is a mere formality I'm speaking of. The door to your world won't open unless... You make a sacrifice of soul and a sacrifice of blood. Huh. It doesn't sound good at all. No, it doesn't. See those candles here? Just blow one out and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. Ooh, she keeps then on your things. way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. I don't think Joe Not that. much. Just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much, exactly? Don't be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Tell me about the sacrifice of soul. Like I said, it's just a formality. See those candles here? Just blow one out, and that's it. But which one? You can choose. It doesn't matter as long as you do it. Interesting. Tell me about the sacrifice of blood. Like I said, it's just a formality. On your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much, just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much? Exactly. Don't be afraid. All right, all right. Repetition. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Fine. I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. When you leave my house, head to the field. That's where you should be. Goodbye, my child. I'm not going to be far. I've never been. That's not very comforting. All right, uh, let's pick a candle. Not the lonely one, not the one on the edge, not the middle one that's too boring, the one close to the middle one, yes. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. Is that the same about all of them? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. You die. Not middle, not extreme, but close. Dun dun. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. Yeah. Bye. Maybe 
should have tried and gone without doing it. See how uh. easy that was? Now, head back to the field. You've got a job to do, Susan. I'm not gonna try and get more of them. Let's let's be good. Let's be good. What the how did I get back here? Alright, that will be the introduction for the new Zeris, the Cat Lady, which I will hopefully not interrupt continuously like last time, and actually finish nice, swiftly, and properly. I'm looking forward to this trip, and you should too. But I digress, good night, and goodbye.